Can I just, can I, I think. I mean, I was a member of the Labour Party at one stage, and I just think the Labour Party has completely lost any sense of, eth of ethics or, or, or ideas that can actually appeal to the general public. I'm not saying all your policies are bad. Some of the points that you've been doing are, are pretty good. But as a party and as a group of things, you're being run by backroom power brokers who spend all of their time sort of trying to work out the numbers. And I think this sort of bickering backwards and forwards is actually terribly inelegant and it's undermining the concept of democracy. And I think you ought to bloody well stop. Mm. OK. OK, but before you come back on that, I want to go to... ..budget deficits, because not otherwise, what is, the, what is the point in just swapping leaders if they're not going to address the issues that are ensuring their polling is so low? So, but is, I mean, I don't, you know, I mean, I'm a researcher. I mean, quite apart from that's my sort of professional skill. And, I mean, polls, polls tell you a certain amount. What the polls are telling you is that the Labor Party is on the nose. You don't change that by constantly just shifting the chairs and the, you know, and the deck chairs on the Titanic. And, I mean, in a sense, there are problems with some of the policies. I've got a whole lot of policies I'd be highly critical of, like what they're doing to the unemployed, what they're doing and stuffing people around with super, what they're doing and a whole lot of things. There's lots of critiques, but there's no discussion about it. I mean, to some degree, I agree with Julie. I mean, there is not a policy debate going on. There's not something that turns people on that makes them feel that there's somebody with vision. It's grubby, nasty, interpersonal crap that's going on, which actually sort of gets people to feel less and less inclined to vote for that. And I mean, I don't think the Liberal Party is actually doing that well either, because they're just contributing to the actual feeling that maybe both is plague on both your houses. It's not... So in a sense, I think until somebody with some sort of vision does something which actually would attract the, the voters to actually feeling a positive reason why you actually go out and vote or even turn on the television, I think, you know, there's actually a serious problem at the moment because there is no sense of vision on either side. And okay. I think the result is people are switching off. We've just got quite a few people with it. Which will lead to greater productivity. We yeah. don't want to but see... But, Julie, your, your flexibility action. is almost entirely giving employers more power. You keep talking about employees, you're not really talking about no, employees. I, well, I am. Well, you might be, but you're, you're not representing your views. Well, I'm sorry. Let, let me finish. I'm sorry, you've, had a, you've had a hell of a lot more talking than I am, so just shut up for a minute and let me finish. <laughs> Flexibility is actually something which works very well for employers. It doesn't work. It works well for employees, providing they have a say in it. But exactly. in most cases, that's what I yes, was saying. Yes, no, but you know, you're not. Yes, I am. Uh, <laughs> the point about it is, perhaps you could listen to me now. I do. It. Yes, I do. Unfortunately, but the thing. <laughs> is, oh, Eva, that's not necessary. No, because that's I just. Not, that's but, not nice. Play well, nice. Not, no. Why? You don't. <laughs> <laughs> trying to say I think that there's a whole series of things around the, what, around the sort of changes in the Industrial Relations Act. Everybody bangs on about productivity. Productivity is not more hours. Productivity is working harder within the hours. You don't do that by giving employers more flexibility. Okay, let's get a, a different and perspective I, on I, this again. I'd like well, to bring... Just, yeah, oh, just, yes, yes, but I would like to bring Dan Hannan yeah, into... But I just, think, I just think it's a very one-sided <laughs> argument and yeah. I just think we need to recognise that, you know, that flexibility is one of those buzzwords that doesn't mean anything. Once but again, Dan, <laughs> I, I, government... This. Oh, no. Both but sides both of you are only committed once you can put your budgets into Eva, surplus and it's a Eva, long way I know, away. I know Labor's not your pin-up child, but on this issue of disability, <laughs> you can be a bit reasonable, fair to us too. We've put it on the agenda. We will keep going. And if you ask in the disability sector, they've got more confidence in us. Dan, is this Please issue on the agenda anywhere in Europe? Bill. 